This is Jack Robbins from PVMS Skyhawk News, and today I'm interviewing George Taylor, my grandpa. I wanted to talk about what you do and what who inspired you growing up. May I start interviewing you? Sure. Thank you. First, where did you grow up? Jack, I grew up down in South Arkansas, about 100 miles south of Little Rock, in a little place called Bearden. It's just a little bit of small town, and I actually grew out, grew up in the country out there, about seven miles outside of town, with my mom, my grandparents, my grandma, and my grandpa, and my three sisters and my brother. My dad got died right after World War II in the 50s, so my mom moved my sisters, my brother, and I. We moved in with my grandparents, and that's where I was raised down in the country. Was there anybody who had a great influence on your life whenever you were growing up? My grandfather, particularly. My granddad really, I don't, I have no recollection of my dad, so my grandfather was like my grand, was really like my dad, and my grandfather was a really, really smart guy. He grew up in the turn of the century in South Arkansas, and the only school that they had was to the sixth grade. After that, that was it. But he taught himself tons of things he was, he read constantly, and he ended up being a justice of the peace down there for 53 years. It was like being a lawyer. We used to hold court on my grandma and grandpa's front porch once a month. I'd sit out there and watch people come in and let my grandpa decide things and help people out and, you know, help them sign papers and do contract and stuff. He was brilliant. He just didn't have a chance for any other education. Probably the smartest person I ever knew, I ever grew up with. The other person that really had a big influence on me was when I was going to college was a guy named Jimmy Jones, who was a professor of mine. You probably have heard me talk about him at Henderson, and he became my best friend for 50 years. He just died a couple of years ago. But he kind of inspired me to go on and do what I did, which was go on into teaching and eventually get my doctorate and teach college. Probably yeah. those, so those two people. Did either of them teach any lessons that you still use today? Oh, constantly. Jack, most of the stuff that you hear me say comes from one of the two of them. They taught me that working hard was a good thing. They taught me to believe in myself. Okay. Uh, they told me to always try to help people if you could. And they taught me to believe in God and Jesus. What job do you have and what jobs did you have? Well, growing up, I did a whole bunch of things. I worked in the sawmill for three years. Just common labor. I was the garbage collector in Bearden for two years. Every other weekend, I got on the truck and picked up garbage. So I've done it. all kinds of jobs. But then after I got out and got my degrees from college, I, I started teaching. I taught and I coached here in Little Rock and North Little Rock. And then after that, after about 10 years, I went to graduate school and I taught at Texas A&M at College Station. I got my doctorate there. Then I taught college all over Texas for the next eight years. And then when everybody in my family got sick kind of all at once and I was the last healthy one standing, I was living in San Antonio, Texas, teaching there. I knew I had to come back to Arkansas to take care of my mom. And so I took a job at Arkansas Tech. I taught there for five years. And while I was there, that's where I met Mimi, your grandmother. And we eventually got married and she wanted to live down here in Little Rock because she was the school nurse at Parkview High School and your mom and your Aunt Kim were just finishing up school at Parkview and they wanted to stay there. So I ended up quitting my job there. I moved down here with them and I became a school administrator in North Little Rock and I did that for 14 years. And then since I retired, I have been a seasonal insurance salesman for uh Educational Benefits Incorporated here in Little Rock. Was there any religion that like you had growing up that like inspired you to do anything? I went. We grew up in a Methodist church. It was a Protestant church. We learned about the Bible, learned about Jesus. Oh. My really, to be honest with you, big church moments when I came back to after I met Mimi and we started going to the church out of Rock Creek. And that was late in life, but I finally really and truly got baptized there, and I really, really, really accepted Christ as my Savior back then in 2010. And that church has been extremely influential to me. I have good friends there. The guy who is the senior pastor there, I taught him in junior high school. So Rock Creek is very important to me. Well, thank you for letting me interview you. Well, you're more than welcome, Jack. I hope you got what you need, bud. I love you. Thank you.
and this was Jack Robbins from PVMS Skyhawk News, but remember, don't have a good day, have a great day.